Hi guys and welcome back to the F-Series channel. If it's not welcome back, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any new content from us. Today we are joined by all of the girls because we're going to be playing a quite fun game of Would I Lie To You. So firstly, the girls will be split into two teams and these teams are Kira and Beth and obviously they'll be facing <laughs> Steph and Dawny. So if each... A girl will get a truth or a lie to say, and if they, if the other team guess correctly, they get a point. If they don't, then obviously they don't get a point. At the end, the one with the team with the most points will win. If it is a tiebreaker at the end, I will say a truth or lie, and whoever gets it correctly will win the point and then therefore win the game. So does everyone understand the rules? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pick Kira. You can go first. I know it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do I just say, like, my statement is? How do I word this? Yeah, just say your statement, and then, obviously, Steph and Dawny will have to try and guess whether it's true or false. Okay, so, when I was six years old, I met Jensen Button at Disneyland. Mm. Uh, but I didn't know it, I didn't know it was Jensen, basically. Like, I didn't know who it was. Big fan, basically, is what we just Literally. exposed Kez as. <laughs> Not a real F1 fan. <laughs> <laughs> Not real. <laughs> Can I just ask a question? Disneyland Paris or Disneyland yeah. Florida? Paris. I can't afford Florida. She was six, okay. guys. She can't go to Florida when she's six. Yeah. She's got no monies for that. All right. I didn't realise you were paying. <laughs> <laughs> You're a working six-year-old. I apologise. <laughs> yeah, I was... Do you want me to... So what, what part of the Disneyland were you in? Like, tell us what ride you were on. We want I... details. I think I was just in the resort. I couldn't really tell you where I was, to be honest, because I don't really know the map. I just, all I remember from Disneyland was that it was just like this big, massive world. I was probably somewhere in the middle. I don't know. So basically, my dad obviously knew Jensen back then because he, my, my dad's watched Formula 1 for however long and Jensen's been around in Formula 1 for however long. So obviously my dad went up to Jensen and was like, oh my God, hey, basically. Um, and I was there and he spoke, apparently like, this is what I mean, this is all like apparently because my, you know, that's what my family relay to me, but I don't actually remember it. But he spoke to me, obviously, as you do to a child that you're kind of speaking to and you, you you know you're always like hi how are you kind of like how the Disney characters speak to you in a way <laughs> um, Jensen <laughs> spoke to me we had a nice chat apparently um, that's all it really was but, but I didn't know him I was like who's this geezer I'm talking to and then when I grow up dad's like you met JB at Disney and I'm like really um, question yeah when was it it was when I was six so 2000 yeah, no like maths. when in the year well I think I went for my birthday for my so sixth April. birthday. So I would say it was like April, but it was sometime in summer because I knew the weather was good. So I don't know, like, it must okay, have been Okay, well, the that's two months. different answers, babe, because <laughs> April is the springtime. Oh, well, you know so what I mean? It... Like, it's in the summer. I don't know when it was. Like, I don't know if I went on my exact birthday. I was six. Like, I don't know the exact date. Okay, when, what, been... year, what year was Kez born? Let's do some maths here. Figure out. Two, it was 2008. Okay, so the year before he was, like, king, right? Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But obviously he was still like I, I think you're lying yeah I'm not convinced also Kez loves to brag about all the people she's met <laughs> literally I'm like literally why have we not heard this I'm literally <laughs> only... it's, it's just there's just no way you would not have no, like, but... especially with how much I talk about how much I love Jensen yeah. Button there is no way you would not have interjected at some point and said you <laughs> Do you, do you, button. unlike Beef, who says that she's been to the Monaco track and has walked around it, but doesn't have any photo evidence? Do yeah. you have any photo evidence of So your this meeting? is the thing. I don't Good have question. any photo evidence. So, because I didn't get a picture of him. I think back, you know, even now my dad thinks it's weird to get a picture of a driver. You know, it wasn't yeah. a thing to do. So I'd never got a picture yes. with him. So it's kind of like, I, it's just coming out of my mouth, basically saying, I've, you know, I met Jensen. But I don't think my dad told me until like recently, like, probably a good couple maybe like 2017 or 18 he told me so like i all them years i was watching jb you know and i didn't know that i'd actually met the man so i don't really bring it up because i don't have any evidence and it's not a good story like with my lewis story i can talk about it for like half an hour she can't JB make one, a can't wait in fact in fact has she, has not done a video talking about drivers she's met i know that was cast oh I'm not. I, Tony, get the right. I ain't got 250k right views. I have done a bit of meeting <laughs> Lewis, but not meeting drivers because I didn't think there's any point in me doing a drivers one because the only people I've met is Lewis and Jensen, and I don't really have a story about the Jensen one. So. It's good. It's good you remember to see Jensen there since you're lying. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're lying. I'm over it. I'm yeah, over we're it. done. Are, are, you, are you guys finished with your questions, Takira? 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Kira, can you reveal whether it was a truth or a lie? It was indeed a lie. I did not need to press the button at Disneyland. Honestly, I actually just thought about the background of that story as I spoke. Like, I, I, did, I just said it back and I was like, where did I go when I was six? Disneyland. Um, but I'm surprised you didn't pick up on the fact that if I went in April, he would have been racing in the season. I was glad yeah. was why I asked the question. Yeah. Oh. I thought you were going to say in July, and I, like in July or August, and I was like, you do know that that's like literally peak racing season as soon as i knew kez was on my team i was like for god's sake this girl cannot lie for the life of her she's like, I'm like that's, that's just that wasn't that bad though <laughs> to be it fair was. if it was if it was to other people not us because yeah. obviously we know you i think you would have got away with that yeah. as a truth i think so too <laughs> no nah, we just know you too well <laughs> okay so that's a point for Dawny and steph nearly called her doorknob <laughs> <laughs> The next person that I'm picking on is Skiff. Okay, well, I'll just get straight into it. So my story is that I went to France when I was 12 years old with a folk organisation to go to a folk festival, go around performing at old people's homes and, you know, just general festival cool stuff. And I stayed in a French family's house um and i ate french food kind of <laughs> to a certain extent um so yeah that is that's my thing am i lying who knows how did you get to this opportunity where did it arise from so my primary school um they were big on learning instruments so when i was in year four we did a rotational thing where we played brass instruments and we also played string instruments so i played the cornet for a little while and then i was like nah there's too much to do <laughs> What's the cornet? it's like a trumpety thing but like a small one i didn't have the brain i didn't have the power to like blow hard enough for like a trombone or anything so they had to give me the smallest instrument she's on the lateral That's she's on the, the lateral <laughs> And then, and then we did the rotation and I went back onto string instruments and I did the violin. So I, um, I stuck with the violin and I played it until I was about 16. Yeah, where, where does France come into this? So, yeah, you just said you played the instrument in year four, but 12 years <laughs> okay. old is in year four. Well, where right, does sorry, France come sorry. Into it? <laughs> okay, so there was like a folk organisation club thing. So when you decided to start playing your instruments, you like joined the club. So the, we had like piano players, accordion players, we had violin players, there was a double bass player, and we basically formed like a big band. And like the big band, we all went traveling round to festivals. So there was a festival like in the northeast of England, and then the biggest one we went to was this one in France. So yeah. I have a question for you. We all know you're a very fussy eater. So yeah. what did you eat for a week in France? <laughs> um, well, I did come back a lot skinnier than when I went, which was very hard because I was very skinny at the time anyway. So, um, yeah, I only had one meal for the entirety of the time that I was there and basically just snacked on things as I went. So, you know, you guys know that I love bread. I just remember, like, when we were going home on the coach, just having, like, a baguette. But you just said how much French what? delicacy you ate and then you were like, I actually only ate one meal. Yeah. Do you want to know what the meal was? It was um, a beef patty and chips. And after that, I didn't eat beef until 2017 French. because beef But why did you just, why did you say, oh, we went to France and there was all this French food and I ate all this and now you're saying you ate a beef French, patty? French food exists. Yeah, but you didn't eat I it. I pretended to try it. I didn't want to be rude to the host family. That's sus. Because you just said you were eating it and now you're like, I had a beef patty. <laughs> I was really believing you don't really like now. Beef. Okay. Got more questions, guys? More it's a weird story. It's so weird and so <laughs> specific, which <laughs> makes me think that it's true. But some of the details I feel like don't add up. But how on earth? Like It's like, you know, like pulling things out of a hat and being like, so I'm going to be in France. I'm going to be at a folk festival and I'm going to play the cornet. Like, <laughs> I was playing the violin. I gave up the corner. Oh, I'm not sure on this. I was believing it and now I'm not because why are you saying you're eating all this French food and then you're, now I've caught no, you out. No, I like, oh. think that's a classic Steph prank. They're not funny though. Which makes me think, <laughs> <laughs> which makes me think it's true. It's just too specific for it not to be true. So, so girls, Kez and 
Beef, what is your overall decision? You have to agree on one. I have a feeling it's false, but we'll, get, we'll say true because... Right. But I have, I'm looking at her face and I'm thinking... Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Steph, would you please like to reveal whether it's a truth or a lie? Guys, it's true. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh. Steph did in fact go to France with a folk organisation for a week when she was twelve and eat no food. You are just that type of kid, weren't you? You just, you just. Were. Yeah, it was honestly, it was genuinely terrifying while I was there. I was actually scared. They kept bringing me out of the room and being like, "Do you want to try this?" And I'll be like, <laughs> "No." You know, you know on TikTok and it says if you got a crunchy childhood is that you did you have a crunchy childhood like going to like <laughs> national parks and stuff and like playing folk music yeah, um, sure we'll go with that okay so it's one one on the score sheet so you guys need to suss out these next per- this next person so the next person i'm going to choose is beef so beef please go ahead and say your statement i once was at a horse show <laughs> i that's not the end, please. <laughs> Sorry. That's good vibes. I was once at a horse show and I was the only person in a class, but I didn't win. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> you can't just say true, you gotta interrogate okay, her, guys. <laughs> right, what, what was, was the horse's name? Um the horse's name was Dea. Very strange, I know. Okay, oh, and where name? was the horse show? Um, it was up north where I'm from. Like, think of the it's most nice and big place in a field. I mean, currently like, I'm thinking like a lot further north. So can we actually have oh, some details? <laughs> I forgot you, you lived in Scotland. <laughs> no, like uh, Yorkshire Dales kind of area. Yorkshire Dales, yeah. Okay. Um. So how are you the only person in this class? Like, what were the other classes, and did they have more than one? So yeah, competing in those. The other classes had more than just the one person like me. Um, It just sort of was like there wasn't many people there, and the people that were there, they were all sort of older, and I was one of the only young person people there. So in my class, it was just little old me. How old were you? Uh, I think about nine even between the ages of like nine and twelve so i wasn't really that old okay so what did you have to do for this competition type like was it a set routine or what did you do <laughs> set routine <laughs> i genuinely... dress up. <laughs> <laughs> i genuinely can't remember i can't remember whether um i was on foot leading my horse round or whether i was actually riding the horse look so i just remember I think it was one of, like, the first times I'd ever done a show and I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, (laughs) So I genuinely can't remember whether I was actually on the horse or whether I was just leading the horse. I find it very strange how there's a competition but no one won. (laughs) To compete with. Yeah, (laughs) did you get... To compete with. Did you get a, like, participation medal? Like, uh, well yeah. done, you tried, medal. <laughs> yeah, um, I got a rosette that said special on it. Probably one I'm of those special. badges behind her, look. Wait, <laughs> okay, right. So, what was I just going to ask? I hate it when I do this in videos. <laughs> you and do it all I the time. I just forget what I'm going to say. It's so annoying. Um, nah! Give me two sex. Two sex, two sex, head. Two sex, head. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh okay so did anything go wrong in your routine to make you you know not be able to win like was there a reason why they didn't want to just give you the medal like did something go wrong did horsey fall over no honestly from what i can remember i just did my best but apparently my best in the class of just one not good enough just, babe just wasn't good enough so i just didn't win i genuinely don't remember any reason why i wouldn't just i feel win like by default I feel like this is very harsh for a nine-year-old. Like, yeah. surely for a nine-year-old, you're going to give them a wee participation medal, you're going to go, well done, and you're not going to enter them in an actual... Like, I don't think you would have got entered into a competition that was, like, serious enough that they're like, oh, no, you need to be good to win. Yeah. yeah if she was, like, maybe, like, 15, 16, like, that would make yeah. sense to me, because I've been in a dancing competition where I got literally so scared yeah. because they said no one was good enough to win. But there were actual competitors at that point. So that, mm, 
hmm, there's no correlation, really. So, I'm thinking that this is a lie. So, yeah, Team Dawny and Steph, what are you going to go for? I mean, it's very Beth, isn't it? But I, I don't know. What do you think, Steph? It actually could be true. Yeah, it like, could I very be true. Much believe what you're saying. <laughs> It could be true because it's Beth's can. involved. Anyone else, yeah. it would be a lie. But because Beth's involved, I'm like, mm. what do we think? I think... I just think it's a weird thing to make Yeah. Up. Well, true. So, answer? Oh. What's your answer? I don't like this. Neither. Um, I was sure about Kez and I'm not sure about this Neither. One. Are we going... Okay, we'll go, Dawny, what do we'll you want go with do? true. But I think... Are we? Okay, no, lie. It's a lie. It's a okay, lie. Okay, we'll go with lie. <laughs> okay, Beef, please reveal if it's true <laughs> or a lie. It's true! Yeah! <laughs> That's so boring! <laughs> so basically, it was like the first ever um, show that was ever held there. So it was really, really small. There was barely anyone there. I want to say maybe there was about 12 people. So most classes only actually had one person. It was my first ever show. But for some reason, rather than giving me a first, they gave me a rosette that said special. And it was pink. So yeah, I entered a horse class and didn't win. Oh, so, and, and Beef has been going by that label ever since. So she has. Yeah. She has. Let's, let's move on to the last girl to say her truth or lie. Who kind of spoiled it at the beginning, but we're going to forget about that before we start filming. <laughs> so, Dawny, please say your statement, and girls on the other team, Kez and Beef, please argue. So, I, the last time I had tomato ketchup, I was in a bowling alley. That's a lie. You literally had tomato ketchup with your meal the other night when you sent a photo into the group chat. I remember there being tomato ketchup on the meal. Really? It was pasta sauce. No, no, I swear this was another meal she had, and I swear that I've was... not seen her have tomato sauce with pizza, actually. I'm trying to think of yeah, all the but pizza that's because Rongans have tomato sauce with pizza. What you have garlic and herb dip instead. <laughs> oh my god. Why I'm trying have to think you not of all... had tomato ketchup since. What? Wait. Wait, like, why to... specifically a bowling place? What? I'm going to find some ketchup pictures on Dolly's. Instagram. Was there something <laughs> wrong with the ketchup at the bowling place which meant that you have not had ketchup since? Um, no. So it was my 11th birthday um, and we were all bowling. Had a little bowling birthday back in the day. They were quite trendy. Um, and... I just <laughs> they were. She yeah. did not lie. I had one as well. <laughs> Kira's too young for it. I had one. The IP. Um. Yeah. And then we were bowling, and then there was like food and nibbles came out, and I then you know what? Instead of a New Year's resolution, we're going to make a birthday resolution. I'm not going to eat ketchup this year. And then I just never really ate ketchup again. So yeah, the last this time. Is cap. Last I time know. I so was. What what sauce do you have on like chips and stuff? Yeah, that's why. Like that's you can't wrong. eat dry chips. That's just wrong. So... Yeah, you can. <laughs> you bloody well can. Steph can. Yeah, Steph, you're just fussy. Yeah. So. You're wrong then. <laughs> um. So I like a bit of garlic mayo. Or a she bit does. of like Nando's mayonnaise. No, she does. Or mm, what do I like? Not not a fan of like brown sauce. Like you know when you get your roll in the morning and they're like brown sauce. No thanks. Ketchup. No thanks. Not had since I was eleven. So if you're having an all day breakfast or you're having a sausage sandwich or bacon butty, if you don't like brown sauce, you're not even putting tomato ketchup on it either. Nope. I got a Greg's this morning and she went. Do you want any ketchup or brown or joint ketchup brown sauce? It's like no, just butter, please, hen. I feel like Kez, this is so, so weird. Basically, before we filmed, Dawny said about her lie. However, I feel like she swapped it because I actually think every time she has a pizza, she does have some sort of like garlicky dip or like no dip. Like I don't think I've ever seen tomato sauce somewhere somewhere near a pizza. And Dawny gets yeah, pizzas. but it's yeah, but it's not just pizza we're talking about. We're talking about so no, much but more. I've as only well. ever seen Donnie eat pizza or sushi. So <laughs> but the fact <laughs> is that she said like since eleven she's not had tomato ketchup. And she's now twenty two. This is yeah, oh, yeah, it's so half wild. my life, guys. Half my life, I've not had tomato ketchup. <gasps> <laughs> 
why that's why oh I've, I've, i can't believe it cares like a genuine i swear i've seen a photo where she has had ketchup on her plate i swear let's go with it then because i don't know so if we just say that are you saying lie. truth or a lie i'm saying it's a lie okay we'll say we'll say it's a lie donny please reveal if it's a truth or a lie it is a truth <laughs> <laughs> I knew she has got it, Mayo. <laughs> oh, I could have sworn I saw a photo. Oh my you god! Now we're all tied up, and Shah's got to do the tie break. So you know, Yay. I literally hadn't thought about a tie break ever. The way you guys were going, just and I was like, I need to think of one right now. Yeah. So I have a tie breaker. So, could swan one, so that means I have to say a statement. Okay, my statement is: we have two rabbits at my house. One's called Tinkerbell, and one's called Ariel. Tink Bell, we got thinking it was a girl, but it's a boy. Is that true or false? This is true. I swear, Charlotte said it's Yeah, before. I think it's true. It's true. I know well, all about the animals. Well, I oh, said it's the other way so. round. Oh. And that's what she's trying to do. Win this us on. game if we I'm going to let the same thing. <laughs> then I just say another one. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Kez and Beef, you can argue first. I think it, I do think it's true. I swear yeah, I've same. heard this story I before. I swear it's true. You definitely have a rabbit that went through some things. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, some I'm issues. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is Tinkerbell. I think it is. I'm quite confident with this one. I don't think it's true. I don't think I even need to ask Charlotte any questions. No, neither. Okay, beef and not beef. Steph and Dorney. Um, yeah, I was going to say it's true as well, but I don't know. Obviously, Beth did just say, like, it might not be Tinkerbell. Like, I know mm. one of them. I'm so sure there's a story that um, you thought it was one, but it's the other. Um, but now Beth's gone, it might be the other one. But I don't know if you'd be, like, that thinky enough to, to swap that. them. <laughs> if that yeah, makes I'm sense. So, wait, you thought Tinkerbell was a girl and he turned out to be a boy? Yeah, so at my at my secondary school, for my sister's birthday, we got one of the rabbits because we have a farm and they breed like rabbits, basically. And they basically were just selling these rabbits and we thought, we won't leave them at the school with all these horrible kids, we'll take one. So we got one, they said it was a girl, really fluffy thing, like lovely. And then got another one, said that one was a girl, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, took them to the vets to get their jabs and they were like, oh, one's a boy. And I was like, oh, that explains all that little stuff going on in the <laughs> head. <Whoa. laughs> so uh, hey. I think it's, I think it's true. <laughs> oh, well, this went well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, didn't it? We're both so okay. True. Okay. If if it's if it is true and you do tie, I can just pick the best liar or the best um Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll go best liar. Yeah. So you think it's all true? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually not true. Ariel is the is the boy. Oh! <laughs> oh! You little prankster. <laughs> she she really did a fat prank. <laughs> Ariel Ariel is the boy. Oh, oh little thing. She's yeah. she's not even she's, I always call her she. Uh-huh. He is named Ariel because we wanted to go along the lines of Disney, but unfortunately, oh, he's not oh. a girl, he's a boy. So, girl. yeah. So, the scores are still tied at 1 1. So, I'm going to pick the team that I think were the best at getting information out. Oh, sorry, Beth. And I think the team that are winning today is. Can we get a drum, drum roll, roll, please? I think the best team today was Steph and Dawny. <laughs> Just because of the way that they were proper arguing with cares about Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna Not them. It's be such a fun video. Kez, so you could have picked a, like, a way more realistic. Yeah. Kez did let me that down. was just like we knew that that was like as soon as you said it I was like I'm thinking of so true. many other ones I could have done now I'm really upset. So <laughs> as you should be. Like guys like this video and comment yeah. if you want to see us Let do us a know. part two. Let us know who you would say would be the best team and award the point and can we get F's in chat for Kira for saying that she met Jensen Button recently? Can we get in the F series memes channel on Discord a meme of Kira meeting Jensen Button? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, so I'm gonna end it there. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next Friday for another F Series Friday. Bye! Bye.